Hi, I'm Richard Fettis. I wanted to spend a couple minutes talking to you about the Army Futures Command. There was an uh, announcement that was just made uh, two weeks ago that the Army Futures Command is coming to Austin, and we wanted to explain what does that mean, and specifically, how does that affect San Antonio. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that it is a positive for us. But let me tell you a little bit about it. So in late 2017, so last year, uh, we found out, we had heard through our um, sources in the, at the Air Army, that the Army was looking to stand up this new command, which ultimately is called the Army Futures Command. It was going to be innovative, it was going to be different. In fact, it was going to be kind of a revamp of how the Army was doing business. In fact, probably the largest revamp in how they did business in the last 40 years. So they put out a couple criteria. We want to go to a city that's urban. So we want to go to an urban center. We want to go to a place that has STEM. We want to go to a place that has innovation, that has colleges, you know, a nice college vibe. So, you know, we heard all those things. We said, we are definitely in the running, given that we have such a strong military history. Almost at the same time, we got additional information that said, whoa, whoa, hold on. While we want these places, we do not want to put this new command in a traditionally military city. We want it in an urban environment, but not one that already has a history with the military. And number two, we want a univers or we want a place that has a tier one university. So that's when we started to think, well, maybe we're not quite as robust an opportunity as we thought. So the Army did their research, they did their work, and they selected 15 cities that were announced in April of this year. Uh, and of those 15 cities, San Antonio was not one of them, but Austin was one of them, Dallas was one of them, and Houston was one of them. All of them have, they're, all of them are robust urban environments, and all of them have access to a tier one university. So what did we do? We reached out to our friends in Austin uh, with the idea, number one, that we could be an asset to Austin because of our military history, uh, the fact that we understand military culture, and of course knowing full well that Austin doesn't have that kind of familiarity with the military and we thought it only made sense you know we're quickly becoming a mega region Austin San Antonio and all the areas in between it made sense for us to really put uh, regional collaboration and the economics development sense uh, into practice but interestingly enough we weren't the only ones that reached out to Austin uh, Baylor so Waco and Baylor University reached out to Austin and said hey we want to be a partner and so did uh, Bryan College Station and Texas A&M reached out to Austin and said hey we want to be a partner so all of us came together, Austin, San Antonio, uh, Waco, uh, Baylor, and uh, College Station, and uh, Texas A&M to assist um, Austin in trying to be the victor for the Army Futures Command. So they went through their process, and lo and behold, Austin gets selected. And we had gotten a reach out by my colleague uh, from the Austin Chamber of Commerce saying, hey, we sure could use your help in this, so we gladly helped. And so what happens now? So the announcement was made two weeks ago. Austin was selected. And so now we can use our knowledge of uh, Army culture, Army history, and the fact that we have so many Army missions here to help in that transition to place this new co uh, command in Austin, but to also help grow our commands because ultimately the command needs to come back to the mothership. And we have the Installation Management Command here, we have U.S. Army North, so we have very important assets that can help facilitate the work that's going to be happening at Army Futures Command. Not to mention the fact that we have such a robust healthcare and biosciences scene, but we also have the most uh, important, second only to Washington, D.C., cybersecurity ecosystem right here in San Antonio, Texas. So anything that happens in Austin can only benefit us, and that's what we're betting on. So we join them, we're happy to join them, and we know that over time we're going to be a net positive gain for the Army Futures Command in Austin. So in a nutshell, that's what happened. Um, we are a player and we're going to make it happen and we're going to help Austin and we're going to become a mega region and we're going to become closer and it's going to benefit both of our cities and the entire region. If you have any questions, please give me a call. I'd love to talk to you about it uh, and enlighten you on anything that you might uh, want some answers to. Thanks for listening. Hope this helped.